Hey guys, Bringer here. I want to get this video out today about um, the vehicles in Battlefield 2042, the hovercrafts, helicopter problems, you know, just basic vehicle problems and gripes the community is having right now with them. Should they be nerfed? Should they be left alone? The, the game developers are already talking about giving the hovercraft light armor. Now, the video and the playing in the background here, this is um, another YouTuber, Stoda. He posted this video yesterday where he unlocked the um, the NTW-50 sniper rifle with the better ammo. And um, you can just see in the background here how he's handling the hovercrafts. No problem with it. With just a freaking rifle. You're going to see he's going to be able to take helicopters out and stuff with it. Now, um, we're going to look at some other stuff in-game here. Not just watch this video on... Um, I don't think the developers should nerf any of the vehicles yet. And... Um, like right here, look at him taking this helicopter out. I don't think any of the vehicles should be nerfed because uh, a lot of the, the things that the, the soldiers get to um, counteract vehicles, like you got to get levels to get them. The game's been out for like 10 days, been out for less than a week for everybody that didn't have early access. Um, people just don't have the levels yet. They don't have access to um, the countermeasures for the vehicles. So... Another month or month or so goes by in this game, people get some levels. Things are going to be a lot easier to, uh, vehicles are going to be a lot easier to counter is what I'm trying to say. And if they start nerfing them now before the player base has counters to vehicles, the vehicles are going to become useless in another month or so if they get nerfed. So, um, let's stop this video and, um, I'll be right back when we get into the game here and look at the, the different counters to vehicles that people will be getting. Alright guys, so now we're in the game. Go over to collection. Like, obviously I said um, in that video, level 60 you need to get this NTW-50 and then you gotta get some kills, unlock the ammo for it. But this is gonna be a counter to vehicles level 60. Um... Anti-tank mines. Players don't get anti-tank mines till level 38, I believe. Once more players have access to these and people start actually using them, that's going to be a counter to your hovercrafts, to the, the jeep vehicles, to tanks, all that stuff. C4. More people start running with C4. Rocket launchers. Um, the AA missile. More people start running that. That's going to counter helicopters even more. Um, more people could start using the wildcat to counter any air also um, I didn't know until I locked, unlocked this last night but the bolty bolt however you want to call it I call it the ripsaw because that's what it is it has stock anti-tank mine layer it poops out for anti-tank mines pretty quickly like you use it and this thing is back up ready to use in under a minute less than a minute <clears throat> that's gonna be another counter you know driving this thing around i already got the uh where is it at for the weapon station i equipped the 30 millimeter cannon i think you're definitely that's the choice for this thing put that 30 mil on there and just start popping this is another counter you know just i feel like the player base needs more time to get levels or the developers can maybe lower the level and say the anti-tank mines maybe get them at like the 20s instead of level 38 i just think you know more time should be given to the game before they they listen to all the baby boys complaining about stuff in the game the hovercrafts definitely need to be um they need to fix the sucker fish problem with them. Like they shouldn't be able to climb up buildings like they do. But I I just feel like, you know, if you nerf them, you give them light armor now. Once everybody has access to everything, they're they're gonna be useless. I mean, they're already being taken out, I think, in four shots by that sniper rifle. So it's doing 25% HP damage to this thing. So what, what's that sniper rifle going to do to this thing if they nerf it and give it light armor? Is it going to be a two shot from a rifle? I just... That's just my feelings on the game, guys. Let me know in the comments how you feel, what you think. 
about the vehicles in the game. Like, nobody hates dying to the helicopters more than I do. I absolutely can't stand it. Especially at the beginning of the match, if you don't spawn in a vehicle in your infantry, it's very likely if you don't break off of that main sardine group of people that spawn in at the beginning, you're going to get nuked by a helicopter just coming in and blasting that group. So, <clears throat> maybe the helicopters should spawn further back at the beginning of a match. <clears throat> just to give, you know, the teams more time to spread out, maybe. But, um... I don't think any of the vehicles should be getting nerfs or buffs or anything like that right now until the game has been out for at least a month. Like full release a month from the 19th till like the end of December. Give players time to level up. Give players time to stop using all the different meta stuff like the, the same gun and same setup. People running around as uh, recons just spotting people the whole damn game. Fix that. Leave the vehicles as is for now. Let people start playing other things than what they're stuck playing right now because they're trying to level up fast. And I, I think everything will balance out in about a month or so. That's just my opinion on the game, guys. Um, if you like this video, if you made it this far, please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I do stream. And um, the channel is main main game is battlefield 2042 right now so thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one